We are nearing the end of the regular season in the WCHA, and last weekend saw two series filled with a top five comeback, a well-deserved shutout, and a stellar shootout win. I'm Rachel Herzog, and welcome to Inside the WCHA, and let's kick things off with the series showdown between St. Cloud State and Minnesota State. A scoreless first period led to a scoring flurry for the Huskies as they found all four goals of the game in the second period. Freshman Emma Gentry added two more goals to her career stats, and seniors Laura Kluga and Hannah Bates beat Cala Frank to cap off the scoring for Game 1. The Huskies skated away with a 4-0 win on Friday night, and freshman Sonia Hola made a stellar 38 saves, notching her second career shutout. Minnesota State opened up the scoring on Saturday afternoon with a power play goal from Tristan Truax late in the first period. Laura Kluga tied the game up early in the middle frame for her second goal of the weekend but the Mavericks were able to regain their lead and extend it to 4-1 to one with a breakaway goal from Sydney Langseth, an unassisted goal from Kennedy Bobick, and another power play goal from Kelsey King. Yanina Newland was able to cut the deficit to two late in the third period, but the Mavericks earned the series split with a final score of 4-2. to two. Wisconsin and Minnesota found their second border battle of the season, and Maddie Wethington scored the first goal of the game for her first of the season. Grace Zumwinkle extended the Gophers' lead to two, but Daryl Watts put the Badgers on the board late in the second period with a beautiful sharp angle shot to beat Lauren Bench. In the third period, Crystalyn Hengler regained the two-goal lead for her second goal of the season. But the Badgers played all the way to the end of regulation as senior Caitlin Schneider tallied her first goal of the season, and Britta Curl scored with just 25 seconds left of the period to knot the game up at three. In overtime, it was the one and only Daryl Watts that would secure the game-winning goal for the Badgers and left her team to a 4-3 win. On Saturday, it was the Badgers that came out of the first period with a two-goal lead, with Sophie Shirley sniping one just a minute into the game and Maddie Wheeler finding her second goal of the season. In the second, the Gophers were able to cut the deficit in half with a beautiful shot from senior Abby Boreen beating Kennedy Blair high glove side. As the third period was ticking down, Grace Zumwinkle knocked in the tying goal for the Gophers, and this game would find itself in a shootout. Minnesota would find the extra point this time as Taylor Wente showed off her fancy mitts to beat Blair to lift Minnesota over the Badgers and earning the series split. Every team is fighting for conference points as the regular season is winding down. This weekend, Bemidji State heads to Wisconsin, and Minnesota hosts Ohio State for a top 10 matchup. Tune in to Big Ten Network Plus to cheer on your favorite teams live, but join me back here for next week's edition of Inside the WCHA for the jam-packed excitement from all around the league.